but this is my project I've been working on. And as you can see, this uh, mechanism has been added to the, the extruder. Um, so here's the extruder of the tarantula. I just replaced this top part, um, which uh, I don't have the original, but yeah, it was a gold part. Um, replaced that part, and then there's, uh, I think, four different parts on the um, extruder shaft, and then there's also this sliding part right here. And um, so what it's going to do is uh, it's going to switch the extruder, so it's going to actually pivot them without having to add any motors or anything. So uh, there will be a pneumatic uh, connector screwed in here, and then one normal one for the Bowden attachment right there. Um, and this one, so the sliding block will be attached to a, a piece of filament, or a wire, I haven't really decided yet. Um, it'll go through a Bowden tube all the way over to the extruder carriage. And here's the extruder carriage that I designed. What it'll do is it'll pivot whenever you change directions. Um, so when you retract um, a certain amount, it will actually switch the switch the uh, extruder mount so that it's on the other extruder. So um, that means that when one is extruding, um, it'll flip into position and start extruding with that one. And then um, when it's not extruding, it'll retract like 15 millimeters and pull this one back up to this and start using the other one. So this way you don't have to use any electronics, any any um, extra electronics or anything. You just attach it to your extruder and um, so the purpose is uh, so you can see this pivots back and forth. It's not complete yet. Doesn't have the um, doesn't have the rest of the hot end and everything that's on order. Um, but what it is going to have is uh, strips of metal that um, when the thing pivots back and forth it will actually um, cut off the non, uh, the one that's not being used uh, so that it doesn't ooze. So that's the entire purpose of this. Um, so yeah, everything's pretty much done. Uh, I'm just ordering like a Bowden fittings and Bowden to Bowden tube for this, and then I just gotta take the um, take everything off of this one and put it onto this one once I got everything done. But obviously, I don't want to uh, disassemble my printer uh, and then have it not work. So, um, but more about this. Okay, so the way this works is um, so you can see this one has a magnetic catch. So there's a magnet right there and then two screws. So it'll stay like this in position and then stay like that in the other position for each extruder, right? <clears throat> so this slider, which you can't really see because I printed it in black, is gonna move up and down and push on this little bar right here and switch it back and forth. So the end of the filament will do that. And the way that this slider goes up and down is this part right here. So there's a little a loose piece right here that when the when the extruder rotates, it actually has a set. You can't really see it, but there's basically magnets sandwiched between two discs, which creates friction without actually creating any wear. And so when this rotates, it carries this other wheel with it. The one, so you can see how it kind of skips like that. Um, it carries the other one with it. And then that one pushes this up when it goes up. So like that, okay. And once this is um, actually tied to the carriage, the slider, um, it'll be magnetically held in place. So when this um, when this has that motion like this, it won't actually move up and down. So it will just stay in place on the top. Um, and then the reason for this 
slot right here. So you can see there's like a slot right here. The reason for that is that when you're actually just retracting normally, you don't want it to switch. So it can, it can retract a certain distance and won't actually push the thing down until it retracts by a certain amount. So that's what that's for. Um, but yeah, this is, there's four pieces on here, and then one piece here, and then another piece here. And I'll uh, po post all the files uh, so you guys can try it out. Um, should be pretty close to complete, except um, this, I just need to put the um, metal strips on there for blocking, and then also just assemble these hot ends. Um, and then I think everything should be good. I, I also added these small holes everywhere, basically just to um, provide a mounting point for any fans or anything else. I put like a um, dovetail slide in there with a hole so you can put a set screw or something, or a, a bolt. And then uh, you should be able to make an attachment to put some fans on. So this will go here. And then, um, you know, all the same bolt patterns and everything. Uh, and then you can hang the blower fans on the back, which will um, which will come through here. So the air will come through here and cool off the print. And then it uses a 40 millimeter fan attached here um, to cool off the hot ends. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, Oh, there's two bearings in here, one, uh, one skate bearing here, one on the other side, um, and uh, a bunch of quarter 20, oh, sorry, not quarter 20, 440 uh, screws that hold it together. But yeah, I'd appreciate it if someone tried making this thing and see how it works. That'd be cool. Thanks.